Hi Leo and welcome to your tarot video scope for July 2017 by AMA. This recording will be for Leo Sun, Leo Rising and Leo Moon. Please make sure that you listen for your rising sign, for your moon sign, and for your sun sign, because at different months you could be mostly influenced either by your sun sign, not necessarily only by that, but in different months maybe uh, you may be influenced mostly by your moon sign or your rising sign. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you are new, welcome. If you like my videos, please subscribe. and. Please remember to turn on the notification button, this way you will be notified immediately as soon as I upload new videos. To contact me for a private reading, please email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. You may also contact me through my website amalightworker.com. For this reading today, I will be opening five cards doing a tarot spread called the Key of Life. And I will also be using one card from the Egyptian Oracle uh, deck. I will also be recording after this a whole new video for you about the eclipse season. In August 2017, we're going to have two eclipses, a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse. And eclipses tend to influence your life for six months. So therefore, I will be making uh, uh, videos ahead of time before the eclipses happen in July about what areas of your life will be influenced by these uh, eclipses. Those are going to be available for download and purchase through Vimeo.com. For those of you uh, who are interested, please click in the link down here below in the show more description box. That link is going to take you to the Vimeo videos where, as I said, I'm making the eclipse uh, videos ahead of time and ahead of time and I'm going to cover uh, six months um, uh, forwards uh, so basically it's like a six months uh, projection and also allow me to remind you you are still under the influence of Jupiter transiting this transition of Jupiter will last for 13 months and we are pretty much right in the middle of it and Jupiter is the planet of good luck and fortune where Jupiter goes so do, do our blessings so click on the link down here below or the second link right down here in the show more description box and that link is going to take you to the Jupiter special videos to find out what um, areas of your life uh, Jupiter will be bringing uh, better luck and uh, fortune so now with that being said allow me to focus on this reading today for you Leo the general feelings that I am picking up they have to deal with a sense of dissatisfaction for some of you and also with a sense of new beginnings uh, things coming to fruition deep, deep time for reflection for some of you um, manifestation of wishes and desires, celebrations, uh, success, kind of like a breakthrough into some some kind of a project or a breakthrough in uh, a work situation. So generally, uh, different kinds of uh, success or take or things are now starting to uh, work out better or to progress in a much more positive uh, direction. So now allow me to focus on the cards one by one. The first card that wanted to show up for you in this reading, it is the Three of Wands. Falls in the position of what happened in the past that could still be influencing your present current situation or your future. The meaning of the Three of Wands, to me it means embarking upon a journey from which you cannot come back toward the realization of your dreams, wishes, and desires. Uh, and it's like the universe is sending you a little hint. Success in a journey just began, just to give you a little hint that you are headed toward the right uh, direction. So now allow me to focus so I can figure out what does this mean for you, Leo. For some of you, this could be the beginning of of you communicating better with people in your life and 
creating some solid connections with people. They are not specifically talking about relationships, but they are talking about connecting with the right people. If you are looking to expand or upgrade your career, again, this is about your networking and connecting with the right people that are going to help you through this journey or through these changes that you want to manifest in your work or in your workplace. For some of you, this could be the beginning of a love relationship, but the way this is coming to me, it feels like recently you started a relationship. And for some of you, you may now decide to go like steady or you're going to focus on just uh, developing more or deeper this relationship. They are also talking about business connections for some of you and either beginning a project or a project comes to fruition. For some of you, this is a work-related project. For other ones, I keep getting like something will manifest in terms of your income and financial growth. And it could also be something that you are praying, hoping for, wishing for, will initiate progress. So they're not talking completely happening, but just initiating progress. Whatever you wished for around January, February, March, or things that maybe um, you wanted to grow, make better, around January, February, March, I feel like now they're starting to take shape. They're starting to take uh, form. Although some of you cannot help it, but have this sense of incompletion in your life. So feeling incomplete or feeling impatience. Feeling very impatient about something or just generally having this feeling of uh, feeling very impatient in uh, July. The next card that you have is the King of Cups. It falls in the position of your present current situation. Generally, this card means um, someone who places family uh, first, truth and common understanding. It represents a father, generally. Uh, and when you receive this card, generally it means uh, you did hold on through struggles with a lot of grace and dignity, and now you are leaving most troubles uh, behind. So life gets a little bit easier uh, now. Or as a figure of speech, you are now navigating through calmer uh, waters. If this card indeed represents a person in your life, it usually represents a water sign, a cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio. This could be the Sun sign, the Rising sign, or the Moon sign. And because this is a general reading, I am also going to say that this King of Pentacles could manifest in your life as a male or as a female because this is a general uh, reading. For some of you, I keep getting that this King of Cups is trying to guide you, give you advice, give you guidance into narrowing down a path. Some of you feel very distraught, but many things happening around you, or maybe you don't know exactly what to focus on, what to choose. There are too many choices for some of you, or you may just simply be distracted. Some of you, I keep getting like you could be too excited. A lot of things are going on for you, like many doors are opening, and it could be in terms of jobs, or job offers, job possibilities. But I feel that this King of Cups is showing up for you to kind of help you to find the right path or to narrow down your search. This could also be someone who is helping you in terms of an emotional journey or a spiritual journey. Um, and for some of you, this could be a family member someone that you look up to like a father figure to you or a mother uh, figure but someone that uh, you deeply respect 
I feel that for some of you, this King of Cups represents either like a CEO or a higher up, and they're going to uh, help you to uh, boost your career. They may assign you to like uh, special projects they may consider you or make you some sort of an offer to make you like the head of a certain department or another project or um, a case or a file with a client but i keep getting that for some of you you are being watched by someone who has the power to uh, make things better for you financially to grant you something or to make things better for you in the workplace by giving you more uh, rights, giving you more duties, responsibilities, and eventually uh, giving you some form of a promotion uh, for some of uh, you. Emotions could be quite tense. This is what I keep hearing from my guides. This may not necessarily be a bad thing. Not all of these feelings of if you feel intense have to do with negative feelings but I keep getting that for some of you again you're going to deal with feelings being uh, very uh, tense I also keep getting travels especially travels abroad or across the sea and for some of you I keep getting that you will focus on Things that have to do with your family, family who lives far away, uh, moving, traveling to meet uh, family. And for some of you, this could also be in regards to thinking, possibly moving. So it's not quite moving for some of you, but it is about thinking or having desires about a uh, possible uh, move. However, for some of you, it feels very strongly highlighted that you are very much encouraged to start, begin, initiate new things after the 20th. I don't know for whatever reason, but the time frame after Ju July 20th seemed to be mostly highlighted for many of you Leos to have these new beginnings initiations or even um, seriously thinking about a possible um, move. The next card that you have is the Six of Wands and it does fall in the position of the future. To me this card it means victory, success or a minor victory and minor success. Um, it means uh, short-lived because work must continue. So celebrate your success for the time being. But this is all, only the beginning because further work needs to be done. This is only the uh, beginning. And another meaning of the card is feeling adorned by uh, uh, people. For some of you, I feel that you're going to get a lot of praise and accolade about something that you did in the past in terms of your uh, work. And for some of you, if you were searching to find um, a job, I feel like now this job hunt or this job search will prove to be uh, will prove to be successful because now I keep getting that job offers could be coming in for many of you uh, Leos. And for some of you, this success is not necessarily in terms of the workplace and your work. It is about having uh, a breakthrough in a situation, either in a marriage or in a relationship or with another uh, family member. Like things just get easier, communication gets uh, easier. And that's how success will be manifesting for some of you Leos. Anything that you will start in July, so keep in mind that time frame that I gave you after the 20th, I keep getting that it will prove to be very beneficial and it is going to keep on giving for the next six months. Many of you will be embarking upon new studies, new courses, 
new workshops, dealing with having to train your people, or maybe you create some kind of um, training programs or workshops. You may be embarking yourself in weight training or training at uh, the gym, but you will be narrowing down an area that you like to focus so you can have success. So if you choose to focus on your health, you're going to be focusing on that in the next six months. If you, cho if you choose to focus on developing further skills, talents that you have, like uh, expanding your knowledge, learning and education, or even teaching, I feel like it's going to keep on going for the next uh, six uh, months. Um, finances will start to grow, and I keep getting or they're going to be steadier in the next six months but many of you will experience not maybe a huge change in your financial growth but definitely some financial growth that is going to be steady over the course of the next uh, six months this is also feeling loved and adored by family friends loved ones feeling a lot more popular among your friends and among your uh family and i also keep getting that for some of you um if you feel that um some of you i feel like you are thinking ahead about your upcoming birthday and you may have like your own uh, thinking, your own ideas about where did you think that uh, this year was going to lead you or just generally things that you wanted to happen. Are you there yet? And you may have like certain feelings of dissatisfaction. However, I keep getting an advice from the guides because they are saying focus on that one thing that brings you more joy that you have accomplished. So focus on the things that you have done and accomplished and you have rather than things that you don't have yet because they want me to focus you don't have them yet you will be having them great success is in the making it's just not the time for some of you to have it uh, to have all of this for some of you I keep getting somebody will declare their feelings to you this could be feelings of love, declaring their love for uh, you. That's going to be the case for some of you. This could also just be like co-workers just declaring their appreciation to you or showing you that they value and respect you in different ways. If you are completing a project, it could be like a book, it could be like anything that has to do with the entertainment, radio shows, TV shows, podcasts. I keep getting that either some of your Leos are going to um, uh, create a certain level of success from which now you can embark to the next level of your success, to the next uh, best thing. And for many of you, I keep getting that you will, maybe you're going to start like a, chat, a Snapchat account and it's going to grow rapidly and it's going to be successful. Or a Twitter account or YouTube uh, videos. Or maybe get a play in a, in a, a theater uh, play or in another show. But I keep getting that they're going to be uh, successful. Some of you may just be... Uh, discovered about something that you are doing creating or a talent that you have so like a talent agency may discover you and they may offer you something or this could be for some of you um, having like sudden job uh, offers even though you may not even be looking to be doing um, anything different or maybe you you are not even looking to get a job so that's going to be the case for some of you the next card that you have it is the five of hearts and this is from the Egyptian Oracle uh, deck the meaning of the card is happiness and festival and it means happiness comes to those of you who know how to be carefree and know how to celebrate the beauty of life the beauty of love and the beauty of friendship despite of uh you know everyday challenges or uh difficulties it's about thriving in spite of it or um 
it is about choosing to see the positive side in uh, everything. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. Sacrifices must be made for you to achieve this level of happiness or success that you desire uh, to uh, have. And it also means focus on those people who reciprocate your feelings of love towards um, uh, them. And I also keep getting shadows must be temporarily forgotten. So this is another meaning of the card. Shadows must be temporarily forgotten. And every card in this deck comes with an advice. And the advice that comes through this card is make light more often of your faults. Not necessarily blame everything or the situation on like divine or on like uh, your luck or other people all this may you make light from time to time and see where is it that you are contributing uh to that what is it that you can improve in yourself or what is it that you can could be doing uh differently uh, and when you get this card, usually it means in dark times, you're going to have laughter. So a difficult situation in your life could be emotionally uh, difficult, could be a challenge that you are going through. Because this is a general reading and your challenge is going to be a, a, a different from, a, the, uh, from the other uh, Leo. So whatever is it that you are having most challenges and most, most troubles, I keep getting that in July is going to signify the beginning of things starting to feel better. So maybe not complete the resolution, but things beginning and initiating to be uh, better. For some of you, I feel that in July, you're going to take your time to set your priorities uh, straight or to balance your life, to balance your daily routine, making time for leisure time, making time for travel um making time for enjoyment and also uh work for some of you i keep getting that you could be going to a lot of concerts festivals i keep getting like uh art shows uh little vendors when they sell uh things like in fairs for some of you, you could be going to a lot of cultural uh, events, visiting historical places, historical um, historical um, museums or monuments. Um, some of you could be networking with other professionals or with other people. And other Leos are going to hang out with a new crowd or getting to meet a new uh, people. And it doesn't feel like you are planning to do so. It feels like feeling more spontaneous or other people that introduce you to other people. And even though usually you may not, you may not necessarily be so open, I feel like in July, for some reason, you're going to be more open than usual or even uh, friendlier. I keep getting that you will be focusing on reinventing your life. Some of you could be focusing on changing your wardrobe or decluttering because I keep getting like getting things in and out of a closet, like changing clothes, putting your clothes, uh, like putting things in boxes or classifying things like into different categories, like this goes here, this goes there, this goes there. And this may not necessarily just be closed. Maybe you are, you know, separating the mail or separating other things that maybe you have in your office. But I keep getting like categorizing uh, things. And for some of you, this could be like in your mind, you are categorizing things to kind of give them priority. What is it that would you like to do? Or what is it that you like to do uh, more uh, of? I keep getting in the next five to six months, you are going to be reinventing your style, yourself. Uh, your resume is going to completely change. There's going to be a lot more uh, skills and work experience that you're going to be adding either to your accomplishments or to your um, uh, resume. But you will be in many ways a transformed uh, person. 
For some of you, I keep getting that something will come to fruition or to an end or to a conclusion. And you're going to have this sense of uh, love, love is now refreshing. Like you're going to take a deep breath of, of liberation. And it could be like something in the family or a, uh, an issue or in relation to a family matter. It could be a legal matter for some of you. Something comes to conclusion, to a conclusion or to an ending. And for some of you, I feel like this is the beginning of a new uh, relationship. I do not specifically know if it is a love relationship, but it's definitely the beginning of a new relationship. So it could be a relationship with a whole new group of people that seems to be giving you uh, a lot of uh, joy. The next card that you have is the Seven of uh, Pentacles. It falls in the position of how to keep and maintain uh, balance. The meaning of the card is labor, dissatisfied with this harvest. It also means concerns and wait and see. So now let me figure out why this card showed up in this reading because kind of through the other cards I got a similar uh, image like for some of you you are not really satisfied or you are focusing on the mostly on the things that you need to improve or then maybe you are not quite satisfied 100% for some of you I keep getting that it is about uh, your interest, your interest in life, your interest in uh, the future, your future vision. And I keep getting that for some of you, you're going to think outside the box. You're going to get out of your comfort zone because I keep getting some of you are just tired of waiting for things to happen and you're going to take matters in your own hands. Whatever this means for um, whatever this means for you, because remember, this is a general uh, reading. I keep getting that for some of you now, you are going to start to be doing things differently. Whatever method you are using to either manage your money, you know, uh, you know, banking you use, or how you uh, make your money. Now that could be uh, changing. So this is what I keep getting. Um, I keep getting that again, in order for you to the, get to the um, next stage of your success, you just need to start to do things differently. So maybe you're into a healthy eating. Now you're going to have a different approach to this healthy eating. Or maybe you are like, you, you do running or you do yoga or you do meditation or weight training or uh, another form of exercise. Now I feel that you're going to refocus and maybe try to do like a new kind of exercise or maybe change, you know, the trail uh, where you uh, run. But you're going to be making um, changes uh, to uh, that. You may hear something, maybe in the workplace, maybe from other people, not necessarily in the workplace, and you won't necessarily be happy about that. And some of this could be oriented towards uh, you. Either people are trying to give you some constructive criticism or to give you pointers, but you may not necessarily be pleased about this. You are very much advised to listen because there is something in this that is true. And then you may be a little bit sensitive um, to this advice. And it could also be constructive criticism. But I keep getting that if you are to put your feelings at aside, and if you are really to look deeper into this advice, you are going to be able to take something from this ad uh, advice that really works for uh, you. At the same time, some of you need to be careful about regretting saying certain things that you cannot take back. I keep getting text messages that uh, you're going to have regrets about sending them or emails or maybe emailing to the wrong person. But I keep getting, try to keep your emotions at uh, check or at bay because some of you may be doing something or saying something that later on you may be uh, regretting. And a lot of you will be doing a lot of reflection about, um, I 
keep getting around a financial situation or a financial deal because for some of you I keep getting a possible partnership and you're going to give it a great deal of thought whether to partner up with this person or not it could be like partnering up in the sense of making money together working on a business together collaborating in some other uh, ways but I keep getting deep time of reflection for some of uh, you and I also keep getting that for some of your Leos it is going to be after August or around August that you're going to see a difference or a huge difference an increase in your financial situation this July is mostly about um, either getting a job and then you're going to see you know better money in uh, August or applying for a higher position so it's about thinking and planning because I keep getting money will get better or a raise is coming at a later uh, time for the time being you are advised to kind of not spend your money or overspend your money so careful around um, uh, spending now allow me to focus on your Akashic Records messages. A reminder, please click on the link down here below and that's going to take you to the special videos about the eclipse season and I did make these videos ahead of time. How eclipses happening in August are going to influence the next six months of your life. And the other link is going to be about uh, Jupiter specials. Some of you could have a sense of urgency or a sense of impatience to change things up other leos may feel like giving up hang on leo there will be so much happening for you in july but um uh, things will get better or rather better things will come so not necessarily in july but they said better things will come i started to get images of uh, wedding proposals for some of you and some of you could be dealing with family courts or a hearing I also kept getting images of cutting a deal or finalizing a contract or an agreement or something start and starting something fresh off the ground uh, another thing that the Akashic Records revealed about you uh, they said letters and information some of you could be receiving like letters or information from IRS, from a, a business partner or a business associate, or from immigration officials. Please be careful of information that you don't like other people to know about you, or that you don't necessarily like to share with other people. The spotlight will be on you in so many different levels. Some of you could be quite tense or emotional, um, but with all well keeping everything out of perspective they said that life will be getting better and more vivacious please pay extra attention to any accounts that you have whether it is like bank accounts business accounts social media accounts a project that you have an account that you have maybe through your work a case an account about a client email accounts twitter accounts youtube accounts snapchat accounts etc so please pay attention to uh you know privacy and to the passwords and things um associated with all the accounts that you have and all kinds of accounts that you own if there was anything hidden Either you are trying to hide that information or other people were trying to hide that from you. If there was anything hidden, now it will come to a surface. It will come to light, revelation of truth or revelation of information. Some of you with experience changes with your work, work situation or changes in the work place. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Email me at amalightworker at gmail.com to schedule a private consultation. You may also contact me through my website, amalightworker.com. Click in the link down here below for those of you who are interested to know um, how the eclipses of August, the lunar and the solar eclipse, will be influencing the next six months of your life. And the other link down here below, the second link, will be about Jupiter, the planet of good luck and fortune and what eras of your life Jupiter is still uh, influencing 
to bring you better luck and a better uh, fortune. And there's going to be a lot of more useful information for you, like contact information and everything else, in the show more description box right uh, down here. Thank you again so much. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.